It all started with a little watercolor and a golf magazine. Hi, I'm Beverly Cole. I'm working on a collage at the moment, and I'm going to share with you in this video the first half of the work on the collage. I started by going through my paper stacks, um, picking out greens and blues that I will tear up and attach to this piece of uh, board with some matte medium. First I go through my blues and my greens, tearing them up, and I save everything. I save these. some of these are um, jelly plate prints and uh, some of them are um, Citrusol National Geographic pages and some of them are just magazine colors that I found and I just saved the whole page because it's just too pretty to rip up into little pieces and save only part of it. So I rip up as I go. And here I have a pile and you can see I even use things that I collect along the way, maps or little advertisements for things that just catch my eye. And here's the brand of matte medium that I'm using with a little uh, brush, nothing special, and I just layer. This process gets me started and it adds energy to the masonite board that I'm using. Collage is pretty free and you can do pretty much anything you want. So this is my process where I start with uh, layers of color for this type of collage. I'm going to be using some negative space painting and uh, some other uh, like glazes and things like that. Now, after I have all the papers attached to the board and they're thoroughly dry, I use a nail file. I think I got it at Sally's Beauty Supply. These things are awesome. And they're like a dollar. And I have a few of them. They last and last, and they're just really easy to use. So I'm using it on the edge here to remove paper. And I put my um, collage that I've worked on so far on my easel so you can see it better. Um, when I was working on it on the table, it was just too big for you to see. So let's look at it. Oh, it's very colorful. And I think I want to put more green across the middle where the trees will be. So here I am attaching more green. I went to my files and into some magazines and tore up some papers. I actually did it during an art club meeting and I thought I was just getting rid of some stress <laughs> by ripping, but I had a purpose. Just adding green. Making double checking the area where I'm putting the green. And now I'm using a piece of vine charcoal, which is actually like little sticks that have been burned into charcoal. And I'm drawing out a pattern similar to the one in my little painting. When I did this little painting, which was from a golf magazine, I was inspired to make it into something larger. Thus, my collage, and it's a pretty big one, so um, I'm just drawing in a pattern. And, you know, I may not even stick to this drawing, but again, it gives me a kind of a map to go by. So step by step, as I draw these lines now, I'm thinking about where I'm going to place the sky paint and where the sky holes are in the trees. It's a little difficult to see over all of this collage paper, but I'm doing my best. I have a plan. So now the drawing is complete. And I'm going to go in with some white gesso. I have done this technique where I go right in with the sky, but this is a very detailed pattern that I'm working around. So I felt that before I put the paint, I really want to have uh, some of the background whited out so I could see the, um, the trees clearer. 
So I decided to go in first with gesso, white gesso. As you can see, now I'm able to better see where the sky will be. And the sky holes. And the gesso is um, Liquitex and it is translucent. So I'm still seeing the pieces of paper through the sky. But the paper layer, a lot of it's going to be covered up. Some of it will be able to be seen. Here I'm using my golden paints. Um, I'll list the colors below for you. And I've mixed white gesso with the two blues. And then I have some gold on the side in order to make greens. And I use a dinner plate because it's washable and reusable. It's like 87 cents at Ikea. And this is the paint that I will use. So here I am painting in the sky. And the phthalo blue and white at the, at the top of my plate there, it, it's a lot more violet than the ultramarine blue, which is the one on the left bottom of my plate. So in my painting, I do have some watercolor that looks more violet. So that's where I use the phthalo. And then the ultramarine is the bluer blue. And now I'm adding more white gesso. And I use my finger to blend. I just find that's really fun, especially you can feel all the layers of paper underneath. It's just fun. And it just kind of, you know, it, gives me a bond with my painting. I know that sounds weird, but collage is so cool because uh, it's very tactile. There's so many papers and different uh, things you can add. Right here is all paper and paint, but you know, in collage you can add all kinds of things. And so I'm just painting in my sky, not really getting too worried about the exact colors, just having fun with it. And it's bringing my trees more forward. Now, after I do this, I do add a layer of glaze um, with the Azo Gold paint and blue to give some more green to my trees, but you can still see a lot of the paper through it. And this is going to be the end of this video, and be sure to stay tuned for the next one, or we'll continue.